that uh, um, Nande Kalo never built for settlement because in that there is no charge against him in quotes. Um, um, but uh, after revealing some facts, after revealing some circumstances and some happenings, so the and in line with the Supreme Court um, uh, admonition in the judgment, the Supreme Court advice that this matter can be settled by through uh, political uh, means. Also, in exercising her right under Section 17 of Federal High Court Act, the judge also advised that we can initiate the settlement. So we advised um, uh, our client in line with that, uh, considering the fact that on his own, IPOB is a human rights organization fighting for self-determination. Now, taking advantage of the fact that he has not been around, some people have decided to use the name to do some other things. And uh, if you recall, that was in uh, February when I traveled to Europe. So he instructed that I should try to see um, uh, Simon Eber. I Who's in Finland, I think it yes, was. Finland, yes, Finland, that I should go to Finland to see Simon Eber, and I should advise him. You know, remember that he has written with his handwriting. So Simon Eber said he wrote that thing with AK-47 on his head, that he can only believe if Finland is out. So after my program, I contacted him. I said, please, I want to come and see you. How do I get across to you? He said, where am I? I said, I'm in Germany. He said, okay, that I should go to Belgium and wait for him. I traveled to Belgium. I waited for him for two days. He said, let us talk on phone. <laughs> I said, now, I'm a, your leader, Mazen Nande Kalo, whom you called your leader, said that he's not happy with you. I marshal out some points. Paramount among them is the economy of, in the Southeast in particular, and Nigeria as a whole, and the killings. So he said he disagreed with me that Nande Kalo did not send me, that I fabricated this story. story. So now I came back, I visited Nande Kalo. I said, the young man said, except you are out, that's when he will believe you. So, and some other issues, going also by what the court has hinted, let it not be as if we don't want peace. Then also, Nandekalu also revealed that he will not get justice in Nigerian court. Yes, I left him yesterday around, I think around after five. He has never missed words in saying that. He said that he will never get justice in Nigerian court. Two, that if Nigerian court even granted him and um, released him, the federal government of Nigeria will disobey. They have done it the first one, they have done it the second one, they have done it the third one. So that he has lost confidence in Nigerian judiciary. You are asking me the reasons why he decided to go in, the, in this manner. So also the killings in the southeast is one of the things that is even breaking him down. Because he only, you know, he has no access to radio, no telephone, no news, no newspaper, no television. So we only um, uh, visit him, tell him the happenings that is going around. And the thing is really affecting him. Not even his incarceration. Because uh, 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 freedom, you don't get freedom on a platter of gold. Even the America you are enjoying today, the UK you are enjoying today, people fought for it, people died for it, people suffered for it, even South Africa. And if you watch those freedom fighters, none of them spend anything less than 20 years. Incarceration, that one is, even, is not even bothering him. Because these are the, these are the hazard, these are the issues you see in fighting for rights. So liberty is not something that you get on a platter of gold. Then another one is also the elders, the religious leaders, the traditional rulers, those that meant well for this country. 
those that, that discover that um, anything that is affecting South is, is also affecting Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And they said, let us go for this. So with the combined effects of all this, we advised him and he considered it that let's try, give it a trial. So that one is where we are today. Then the, que the question there is that federal government, are they ready hmm. to? Are you, because I learned that they say they... That's, the que that's actually the question I would have liked to put to you. I mean, yeah. one, you say, of course, the out of court settlement as recommended but, by based the judge on this, is, a good, yes, is a good yes, idea. Yes. Now, asking you, do you think the federal government is ready? That one, I'm not with them. I'm not with the system. That's a, that's a if I should use a, some of our colleagues. They said, Maxwell, I cannot participate with you people. You know, I am with the system. I am not with the system. <laughs> I don't know whether they will agree. But what, because I am I'm speaking for Nandekal. Yes. I have his authority to speak as his lawyer. So when somebody said Nandekal is ready to accept all conditions, any condition, you cannot ask Nandekal to cut one of his hand as a condition for his release. He will not agree. You cannot ask Nandekal to remove that that made him a human being. What is that? You have fundamental rights. Right to talk, right to move, right to express your opinion, right to exercise your right as a human being, as enshrined in the Constitution. So when you're acting on the Kalu to remove it, so as to release him. So if you are now, re if you remove all these things and you now release him, he's no longer a human being. He is now an animal. Because one of the things that distinguishes between us and animal is that our right. You don't, you can kill your father anyhow, you cannot kill a human being anyhow. So you can tie your dog with chain. You can't tie a human being with Are chain. you saying these conditions are, I mean, have not been stipulated? I mean, they, they, I'm sure these conditions, what they're talking about, will be stipulated. I mean, cutting his arm that, off and things no, like that, I don't think will arrive. No, I'm just giving instances. Mm. Because when mm. somebody said he is ready to accept any condition, mm. I, uh, of oh, course, he's, he's, a, he's, strong. A, he's mm. a very strong. So he's, he's on call for. Personally, there are some conditions they will give him. I will advise him not to. not to take it on a very serious note. Even as a human being, there are some things that you ask me mm. to say, just like as I'm saying it now, because there are some things that are happening in our judiciary. I'm a lawyer. And they say that we should not be talking. Hey, if you not talk, hey, they will not allow you. They will not <coughs> give you SN. They will not give you all those privileges. Must I be a lawyer for me to leave? I don't need to be a lawyer. Are you a lawyer? Are you not leaving? If they want to take their license, so be it. I have some other things to do. I'm an academia, I'm a consultant, I'm a researcher, I'm a farmer, I'm a businessman for Christ's sake. But we must, if you watch now, nobody's speaking. Apart from my very self, Chiro Denkano, Elisaba Koba, Joseph, and a few others. And nobody's talking. You will see something, you turn it upside down. You were talking about um, Nigerian judiciary. Mm -hmm. yes. Nande Kalu told you that he lost confidence in Nigerian judiciary. Mm -hmm. Why? What of happened? I'm not talking about upper area court. I'm not talking about customary court in my community. I'm not talking about uh, Sharia court. I'm talking about court of appeal. Gave judgment and ordered that the Nandekalu should be released immediately. And no other court should try him because of extraordinary rendition. Mm -hmm. That judgment was given in 2022. 13, I think 13th, uh, 13th December thereabout. The federal government, through their agent, DSSS, said that they will never obey the, the, the court judgment. They held Nande Kalo for close to two weeks before they finally said, okay, let's go and file a motion for stay of execution. In the same court of appeal, court of appeal accepted it. Under two weeks, they granted the stay. This is the first in the history of Nigeria that somebody in a criminal jurisdiction, uh, um, jurisprudence, that somebody, you grant a stay of execution, the same court of appeal that gave the judgment. You do not even ask, have you complied with my order? You are in default of my order. You kept somebody that I ordered. Then you now file stay of execution. And the filing stay of execution, for you to file stay of execution, even in civil matter, there must be, it's not automatic, there must be a procedure. The procedure is that, one, 
you are ready to go with that appeal. As at the time they filed that uh, state of execution, there is no, there was no, I mean, this and what do you call it, I mean, I mean, brief of argument. They just granted it because it's Nandekal. So we are looking at all these things and uh, we believe that on the side of peace, because if you are going by the way this matter is being handled, we have been advising, we have been talking to people, we have been saying no. Let us follow this thing. We have been encouraging him. Let us give it a trial. But he said, as a human being, if you watch what happened the last time we went to court, he started arguing his matter. Because he felt that we are not doing what we are supposed to do. I'm a lawyer. I know the procedure. The procedure is that I'm expected to follow the law. But he felt that this is injustice. That's so he abandoned you was going about he his was, argument I himself. Said, even when we are trying to call him, uh, 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 call him to order in the court, he refused. He refused. He was talking. He was even telling the uh, Leonard Sek, and the chairman body of ventures. He said that you are one of the people that uh, is causing trouble in this country. Because of now, they can't allow uh, uh, Nigerian uh, judiciary to be turned upside down. You turn Nigerian law upside down. Because of now, they can't. Must we destroy Nigeria? Because of now, they can't. After now, they can't. We still have this country. So these are the issues. And we are now saying this thing. Now, we are talking about peace. How will we achieve peace? When we say peace, what do you mean? I mean peace in, 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 the, in the country. Because there's a in bigger region. ramification of peace. Yes. There's peace in the matter, yeah. peace in the southeast. Peace, peace mm. in Nigeria. Okay. Because one of the um, uh, features of uh, the new hood agenda of the present government is actualizing peace. Okay. And now, now the Carol have how many judgments? Apart from the foreign ones, two judgments. One, Federal High Court. Two, High Court. That order that you should and awarded cost. Have you complied with that? The answer is no. Now, Shoure, you 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 discontinue his own matter. The um, um, uh, um, uh, president of uh, Mieti Allah, you discontinue with his own matter. But in the that have judgment, even a uh, um, um, African uh, Union has declared that his arrest, detention is unlawful. United Nations. Human Rights Organization also declare his arrest and detention unlawful, unconstitutional. You decided to keep him because he's from Ibu. He's from Southeast. Of course, except we are not ready to tell ourselves the truth. Had it been that Nan the Kalu is from another tribe. So you're saying that it's prejudiced? Yes, of course now. That is the only the naked truth. You do not invite me here to come and miss West. Because everybody's seeing it. But I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. Who will talk? Who will talk? Because he's from and you feel that uh, you feel that Igbos are docile in nature. You can do whatever thing you like and get away with it. Because if it's other tribe and you keep that, you know what will be happening in this country by now. But you feel that an Igbo man is interested in his business of buying and selling. He's not interested to fight for his right. Somebody that is fighting for his self right of self determination. What gave rise to that? It's not for you to address it. It's not for you to address it. You never addressed it. Then the person that said that we should give him president, give him president, we gave him president. He destroyed the country for eight years. He's the person that caused this trouble. I'm talking about the president Buhari. He caused this trouble. And now he left. He's now in Daura. Then you, you, a Democrat, I, as a person, as a student, I work with a, a Tinubu as, as a student during Nadeko. Then we felt that you should come and look at all these things. Even uh, the attorney general, everybody knows what he stands for. But talk to now, nothing. It's like, yes, you told us that you're going to continue from where you stop. We thought that you're joking. But everything is playing out. So what we are now saying is that now that people, the Senate, the House of Rep, the religious leaders has called for um, uh, this thing, it's a very simple thing. Release and the call. Let us have peace. Because it can be... Remember that those of them that are saying, is Igbo, is Igbo. If you go to court of appeal, over, go to court of appeal, uh, Oka. Go to court of appeal, all those in the southeast. The people that are there, they're not from other tribe. Federal High Court, National Industrial Court. I'm talking about all those judges. So, you are not even considering them. There are some police officers that are not from southeast that are working in that place. In the, in the whole of the uh, southeast now, you hardly see any police officer with uniform. Look at the other day. The, the, the soldiers were something that is avoidable. And everybody knows that Nanda Kalu never committed any crime. He's agitating. It is his right. You can't stop him. If you feel that what he's doing, he can allow him. If you merit the 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 
the, the criteria for being uh, given a, 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 a country of its own. So be it. Okay, Max, let me allow you to take a, 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 some, a breath for a little while. <laughs> now, what do you make of the intervention of the Southeast Senators, which was given wide publicity during the week, and um, their meeting with the Attorney General of the Federation calling for Namdi Kami's release? Anyway, well, to me, it's belated, but I can say good morning to them now that they have woke up. So the president should listen to them. The attorney general should listen to them. Federal uh, House of Representatives, because they have visited. It's belated while Namdi Kami is still in detention. Yes, now, this is, they would have started it earlier before now. Namdi Kami is not supposed to be in detention. What is the offense? Have you seen the charge? How many amendments? We are talking about over 11 amendments <laughs> in a charge. Ask any lawyer. Have you ever witnessed this thing before? Immediately they bring a charge, you file a notice of preliminary objection. They withdraw to amend. They say that uh, Nina Dekalo was speaking from London. Uh, that's, uh, uh, that amounts to uh, uh, terrorism. We brought a, a preliminary objection. They amend and remove London. They, are now, they did not even state where he's speaking from. So the point we are making is that I'm not saying it because I'm from Southeast. Mm. When, um, um, what's the name? Asadidi Kubo was in detention. I appeared, I gave solidarity appearance. When Shore, his own was going on, I followed up. So what we are now saying is that don't destroy it. Okay, you just wake up, I'm a, uh, I'm a Lami, simply because we want to climb down IPOB. An association, you need to go and see these people. Where they're having meeting. Anytime they're having meeting in Paris, the one I witnessed, the, the, the government normally give them coverage. Come and see men. I'm talking about men. Professors, engineers, medical doctors, reverend fathers, pastors. They are registered in all this organization. And your own, you now declare it a terrorist organization. Oh, man. My brother, I asked you this question. You call your, your, your male, male, male uh, children and robbers. You call your female children prostitutes. And you want people to come to your family to marry. Listen, let me tell you. We are just deceiving ourselves. No country will come. We say that you are traveling to way foreign investors. Who is that stupid person that will come and invest his money in a place that you have, you have a, 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 a terrorist group? No. What we bring to foreign investors, everybody's watching. They, they have information of what is happening in Nigeria more than you that is living here. Ask them outside. They follow up. Most of the times, when they call you, they will be even giving you information. Somebody will call you from U.S. He will be telling you what is happening in Asokro, where you are working. So they follow events. So I'm traveling. Let us get private jet so that it will give Nigeria prestige. Who, say, who, who, who told you that nonsense? That when you get a big car, you Max, people, can we be a bit, can we be a bit temperate with the language, please, if you don't mind? What I'm saying is that yeah. in your house now, your children, no food, no clothes. You are now moving with uh, Land Cruiser Jeep. Nobody will take you serious. In fact, people will be even laughing at you. So the point I'm making is that get all these things. Let us have security in the country. Let us have a good economy. Let allow people to exercise their freedom. People will come. Listen, let me tell you, nobody. The first part of fundamental right is a very important um, uh, issue. That's why both... Like, um, United Nations Charter, African Charter, Constitution, they don't joke with it. Immediately you find a first sort of fundamental right in court. Oh. A judge that know what, why, uh, not all this, uh, no, most of all these ones we are seeing, he will give it um, uh, a... You talked, about right. security. you talked about security. Um, security in the Southeast, I guess, is one of the key planks that moving in forward Nigeria. in the Namdi Kanu case is all about. In What's the situation? No. Let's be specific with the Southeast. Yes. Mm. Do you know why I said Nigeria? Mm. In Osu? Osu? In no. Olu? Can we talk about the Southeast, please? Yeah, oh, no, yeah. Osu is, you know, South is in, the, in the Southeast oh, now. Okay. In Olu? Osu. Okay. Osu. Osu. I thought you said Osu. Really. Osu. Oh, no, no, Sorry. no. Osu. <laughs> there is no youth there now. Okay. Where are they? Somewhere in Abuja. They're by giving Abuja more pressure. Mm. I, I don't know what you're doing, I'm saying. So if you release Nandekalu, he will address this issue. Because anyone anyway, said, I'm agitating because of Nandekal. I'm agitating because of Nandekal. Now, I ask you, had it been that Nandekal maybe was released, 
and they address all these issues, all those military men, maybe they would have been alive. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. The judge that was, no judge is sitting, let me just use my state. We have, in MBC, we have um, three courts. None of them is sitting. All of them are sitting over now. I seen, I seen the implication. Oh. So if you are a company in Southeast now and you have a matter, so the, most of them, they are now given to 2027 because you have to wait, let this judge finish. They will give their own matter by four or something like that. Why other courts are there? So what we are saying is that when you release Nanakal, let's start from there. The elders, of course, he's a human being. In the course of his agitation, he must have made one or two mistakes. But you learn, you learn on a continued process. Absolutely. I know, I know by now, when all these religious leaders, all these traditional rulers will now call him, they said, no, you don't do it in this way. Because if you have a good case and challenge, challenge from a wrong the angle, wrong people, mm -hmm. if you want to agitate, go ahead and agitate. Then federal government, that, the other, what's the name, that, uh, that military man that destroyed uh, army, the army, that, 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 that came with uh, Operation Python dance, the one, um, uh, Brutai, that brought Operation Python dance. Had it been that we have this one now, because this, this particular chief of army staff, from what I've been observing, it's like this one is more civilized, more, more educated. He knows what he's doing. Because I didn't that it did not go with Operation Python dance. All these things wouldn't have come up. Okay, let me come in here, Maxwell, because I hear you talk extensively about human rights. You yes. know, you also talked about your experience when you traveled um, with, you know, Simon Ekwa, amongst others. But I'm looking at the larger implication of this, you know, in, in, in the larger scale. One, the judiciary and, and how they downplay the importance of human rights with this kind of cases. I mean, I remember the El Zagzaki, uh, Ibrahim, and his wife in what they say is protective custody, even after being acquitted by the courts. And now we have this Namdikano case. What is the effect of this on the larger human rights you know, community in Nigeria? That is where I have an issue with the Supreme Court judges. The Supreme Court judges, in that judgment, agreed that Nina the Carlos right was violated. He, they condemned the actions of the army. You, I, I have the judgment here. I will drop it with you. You read the judgment very well. Then, and agree that the court ought not have revoked his bail because he never jumped bail. In all these things, you say that, let him go and face trial. Why didn't you make consequential order ordering for his release? Now, when we are talking about enforcement of fundamental rights, the worst thing that can ever happen to somebody is when you beat a child and you ask a child not to cry. When somebody can do you anything, you know, but when it comes to your own right, don't talk, don't move. They tie you in one place. Even if it's your father, you will disobey. That right is very, very fundamental. If you watch what even God, God even knew that Adam committed that offense. But if I will give them that fair hearing, Adam, Adam, where are you? Are you telling me that God don't know where Adam was? He gave the fair hearing. So when you are talking about somebody fighting for his right and you are dragging him, okay, why is Nina and the Kalu the leader? Anybody who's still telling you, any Igbo who is telling you that you don't have respect for Nina and the Kalu is deceiving you. Any Igbo who tell you that he don't have regard for IPOB is deceiving you. We are all loyal to him. It's because of those of us. I know how many SAN that call me from Ibu. Mass, do I'm like this, do I'm like this. Mass, come, do you have you? They will be giving you. Come out, they say, no, I don't want to come out. We are praying for you people. Are you what I'm saying? Because Nandekalu is the only person that was speaking for them. Nandekalu was the only person that was complaining, shouting. So it says you don't want us to be the president. You feel that we are not good to be this. You are do your appointment, you don't want and I was to be on our own now. Nah. I am saying you cannot say that I'm with you. You are look at the kind of appointment. I I took uh, the president. We are in court. The matter is even coming up, I think, on Monday. For of sided appointment. I marshal marshal it out. You don't do this kind of thing. You say that you are in one Nigeria. That some somebody fight for 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 liberation of uh, his people. And you said, okay, let us come together. Three hours. Reconciliation, rehabilitation, and re reconstruction. Since that time up to now, nothing happened. <laughs> any, any government that, that came, they would sideline the people of Southeast. Everybody. 
And anybody who is in this country who is saying that the people of South East are not being marginalized is, will not make heaven. That person is lying. It's obvious. Where is this hatred coming from? Why he came here, he was showing his own. He was even speaking his own. And we thought that uh, Tinubu is a Democrat. Who is even marrying from Igbo? The wife is from Delta. The Igbos. Forget about what they are claiming. They are Igbos. You can't tell me that you are not Igbo. You are answering America. And instead of you to look at all these things and consider it, and they are still following the, the, the thereby causing trouble. After the worst is not eight years, you will go, another president will come. So what we are saying is that follow, take the advice of those that are mates, those that are senior, those that are more educated than you, those that have seen it before you. Take their advice. Forget about all those people that are running around. I continue to say it. If you are the president, those who are criticizing you, that's the people you take serious. Not all those people that are saying, if you do good, they clap for you. They are looking for contract. They are looking for something that they will put in their pocket. Of course, now, if, like now, we, 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 this thing we are talking about, uh, President Tinibu, we are speaking it because we want him to, 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 to succeed. I'm not here to paint West. You are not doing well. You are not doing well. We talk about this issue of uh, giving your wife 1.5 billion naira. I challenge it. I have you approve it. Um, Abbas, approve it. First lady, under what constitution? Under what law? Are you giving first lady 1.5 million naira to go and maintain office and car? What of my own NGO? Who will give me? So, 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 we talk about that one. We talk about you, a lopsided appointment. Anytime we complain, you watch it, review what we are saying. Most of the times, when we file action against you, you look at it, you, 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 you correct it, we withdraw it, we move ahead. Because if you rule well, you take the glory. If you do not rule well, we'll be complaining to you as we are complaining to Buari. Buari okay. cannot go to any place and, and, and make any comment. He violated but people's rights. He did not rule well. Mm. He allowed his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, his government to be looted. You know, a lot of things. Maxwell, okay, sorry, sorry, uh, oh, yeah. Maxwell, talking about ruling well, because I hear you, and I hear that you say good morning to the Southeast leaders and the stakeholders who have awoken from their slumber. But just going beyond Namdi Kanu's release, whether conditional or not, is the call to the Southeast leaders, especially the governors, not to also look in words, to also rule well and create the enabling environment. Because beyond peace, you cannot have peace without, you know, the enabling environment. And that is the key strategy to, to good governance. You see, when Nandekalu came, they know that Nandekalu is fighting a just cause. But their problem is that this small boy is coming to take over being the leaders of the uh, Southeast. That's where they started attacking the Nandekalu. Oh, you say they? Who are you? I'm, talking, the about this, I'm talking about the Southeast okay. leaders. Apart from a few of them, someone like uh, Okwadike and uh, Lete Zife, that said, <laughs> guy, this guy is our leader. If he's not his lead, if he's not our leader, if I come out in my place in Kulobe, how many person will follow me? But if if my people of Kulobe hear that now the Kalu is coming to Kulobe, Kulobe will shut down. Then who is the leader? That is the true fact. Now that they have realized it, the governor of Ebony, the governor of Abia, the governor of Anambra, they have realized it and made together and said, no, there is every need for us to. But this is our son. Are, are you know what I'm saying? Bring him back. All those areas that he was not doing well. Correct it. You said that is insulting you. Nobody's encouraging Nandekalu to insult elders. But what is that that you are doing? What is that that he's speaking? Because when they are talking about, look at how we are talking about this thing. You said, okay, restructuring. You said, okay, good. If they give you restructuring, you people are the leaders. Let's drop out this agitation. You said, no, you must drop agitation. Only for you to go back. You go to me now and have meeting. Where they promise you another two ministerialists. And the thing was decoded. How would you earn his respect? So now that they have met, they issue a communique that they are going to see the president. Let them go and see the president. Let the president release and the to you people. You people will have a meeting. What is that that we are complaining? What is that that we are complaining? Of course, we are from Southeast. Going by our land this and our numbers, that place may not contain us. Nigeria may be, still be the best. But when you begin to show me that I don't belong to this country, I will agitate. I will agitate. You are want to do um, uh, judges. You, you fold your own list. It's only your own people that can be in the bench. You want to give a point. You go and see what is happening in the CBN. You, re, you chase other people out. You bring your own people. 
This is what Buari was doing. Go and see in uh, FC, any place. It's only your own people. That's the only people that I can do it. Other people, they cannot. Well, Max, it looks like we, I mean, we can go on and there's so much to talk so, about. So what you're what you saying... What, what you so are you're just going to have to summarize in about 10, 15 seconds. Yes, what we're now saying is that Nande Kahlo never begged for settlement out of court. Okay. He never begged. Rather, we ha have initiated it. And we also let him see the reasons why we should go for that. If it will work out, we are believing that it will work out. Because of this, because of this, because of this, because of this, on our own side. On his own side, it's also said because of this, because of this. Paramount, the okay. most important aspect of it is for security, for life, for stability in the Southeast. All right. I guess we're going to just have to leave it mm. just like that. Uh, Maxwell Okara is the lawyer to the detained IPOB leader, Namdi Kanran. He's been telling us what's been going on and how they intend to approach the out-of-court settlement being widely touted around the place. Max, many thanks for coming. It's on my pleasure to be here. Thank you so much, Max. I hear him say, well, depending on the conditions, not yeah. an arm for it, <laughs> regardless. <laughs>